Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today we are pleased to offer two awards to Cambridge Finance Limited. With over 43 years history in the Sri Lankan financial sector, Cambridge offers a unique and tailor-made product to its valued clientele. The company offers deposits, savings, leasing, higher purchase, loan and real estate products. The company's head office is located in Colombo and it operates another seven full-scale branches with over 1,000 employees and a customer base in excess of 200,000 across Sri Lanka. Global Banking and Finance Review is pleased to present two awards for excellence. Best Microfinance Service Provider Sri Lanka 2014 and Fastest Growing and Emerging Finance Company Sri Lanka 2014. In London to receive the awards, Don Shiran Iranga Wirasange, Chief Executive Officer of Cambridge. And Sela Hanadij Piasari, who's the Chairman. Well, Ms. Basari, welcome to London and congratulations on winning the awards from Global Banking and Finance Review. Thank you for inviting us to London and awarding this uh, valuable award. Thank you. Well, it's excellent. Can we ask you a little bit now more about uh, the services that you provide at your bank? And I know that uh, you've been, uh, since 1971, uh, providing those, uh, those services and financial products to meet the needs of your clients. Uh, and it's been very, very successful. Tell me a little bit about uh, the history and how it all came about. Yeah. I'll explain uh, in brief. You know, the Kendrick Finance was incorporated in 1971 as a finance company, it's a registered finance company. But uh, till 2008-9, you know, the company's operations are very limited. It, it was a very small company. In 2010, uh, the new management started negotiating with the previous owners. And finally, we took over the control of the company in July 2010. And from that point of point, uh, we are the we are managing that company for the last uh, maybe four years. Okay. What kind of challenges have you seen in in that time? Yeah, when we took over the company, we had uh, many problems like you know the uh, the capital adequacy. Uh, we didn't have much capital to expand the operations, so that became a challenge, and we had to comply with the governance and the central bank compliance. So we worked hard initially to find initial capital and we had uh, two successful share issues and we found capital uh, mainly from the outside sources and uh, with that actually we started you know gradually expanding the operations. In recent times I know you've been very successful indeed. What do you attribute to that success would you say? Yeah, in uh, 2011, uh, when we were preparing our corporate plan, uh, we thought, you know, the, if we are to continue with the conventional financial product, we may not succeed. You know, the market is very competitive. There are more, uh, more than 50 players in the market. So we, are a, we were a small company. We know that uh, if we are going to compete with these major players and the bank, uh, we, are, we can't compete. So when we are... In preparing the corporate plan, we thought, you know, we should, you know, either diversify, you know, we should go to the another market. You know, we found a very good uh, blue ocean, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the microfinance. You know, the microfinance, you know, the uh, that is normally done by the non-financial sector organizations like NGOs and all that. We thought uh, we will enter into the microfinance area, and uh, while promoting the, you know, the uh, while assisting the low income group people, we thought our company also can gain something. That is the secret actually, that in 2011, we took a decision to divert our operation from the conventional business to the non-conventional business. That is the secret actually. With that, actually we had a very nice, challenging team with a nice CEO, CEO, he the person, uh, 
uh, doing the general operations of the company and we recruited talented people from various other places and started operations. And, and microfinance, which is something I wanted to come on to you about, because I know that it's, it's very important within the rural communities within Sri Lanka. Tell me a bit more about how that works and, and, and uh, how effective it's been. It's a, it's a concept actually originally developed in uh, Bangladesh and subsequently most of the companies, most of the others also copied into other countries. So we, Sri Lanka also, we have copied the same concept, but with, with some, you know, certain, you know, changes and all that to suit the Sri Lankan economy and because Sri Lankan economy compared to the Bangladesh is a little, uh, it a little high level. So uh, the same concept, concept the, uh, uh, that concept we adopted. Basically, our field officers will have to visit the villages and meet the people and make them uh, into a groups uh, and we are assisting only the uh, women not the gents you know the ladies are the recipient and we make them a uh, five uh, you know group of five people mm -hmm. ladies and uh, they provide us the interstate guarantee and they'll have to find a uh, you know the uh, 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 some sort of you know business avenues a little business you know small may it may be a uh, uh, grocery store, it may be a uh, retail sales, or it may be a uh, agricultural product project. We are not, uh, you know, not much going detail into the so if we go in into detail like banking sector, we may not be able to lend at all. You know, the banking sector will have to fill up various forms and securities and all that. You know, the, these rural community, they can't provide the securities. They can't provide, they can't fill up the application forms, you know. So the, we have taken out all these, you know, barriers and then we lend to the people based on the trust of the rural people. It's a very successful operation, you know, uh, loans are starting from say 25,000 rupees, uh, small amounts. So the uh, uh, repayable in within a one year period, weekly we will have to collect, actually they need not to come to the bank, you know, our officers and that. our field officers will visit every week and meet them and uh, collect the installment and find their you know problems and all that assist them for their marketing and various other activities so the scheme became a successful operation as i told you you know we started a pilot project in 2011 but 2013 we were in, have been doing it large scale you know the uh, originally we started in one area but subsequently we expanded into entire country excluding the northern area at the mo moment we have about uh, over 40 uh, you know centers and uh, more than uh, 250,000 clients so it, it has been hugely successful yeah. um, and I think you've explained a little bit about the, some of the changes that have happened since 2011 how do you see it going forward the, the whole microfinance plan yeah, we uh, actually, as I told you earlier, also we did not uh, concentrate on the conventional business like you know leasing and high purchase. You know, leasing market uh, totally collapsed uh, during the last two three years because you know the vehicle imports uh, restricted, prices went up, and the other uh, business area, the gold market, you know, gold prices came down drastically. So the most of the banks who lend on gold suffered heavily. So we thought of you know. Uh, luckily, we took a decision to, you know, deviate from the conventional product and go to the other areas. So that worked, uh, you know, the no securities, nothing, but people uh, keep on paying and our recovery rate uh, still for the last, you know, even now, the 2015, our recovery rate is less than 2%, you know, whereas, the, you know, the finance company sector, leasing uh, sector, the recovery rate is about 7%. So I... I'm thinking that uh, we took a wise decision in 2011 to go away from the conventional products. Well, thank you. Let's look perhaps at some of the other services that you provide outside of microfinance. Tell us more about those. Yeah, in uh, 2000, end of 2014, early 2015, uh, we revised our corporate plan where we thought, you know, we will, uh, you know, diversify our asset portfolio. You know, otherwise, you know, our assets are mainly on microfinance. That is, you know, not good for uh, the stability. So we identified the conventional products like leasing, high purchase, and all that. So we thought of, you know, moving into that area. 
But that area is, you know, the rather risky area uh, when you look at the figures of the financial markets in the leasing market in the NPL ratio is about 7% whereas the microfinance area the NPL ratio is about uh, 2%. They are the recovery is uh, over 99%. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, you know, we are actually rather reluctant from moving from the microfinance into the, you know, the uh, uh, leasing area conventional products. But still, uh, we have an option because we will have to diversify our asset portfolio. And we thought, you know, this year we will start uh, the leasing, high purchase and the mortgage loans and corporate loans and all that. Yeah. So you're branching out a little bit there. Looking ahead to the coming months, how do you see other uh, developments and plans uh, for your service developing? Yeah, be everything based on the corporate plan. The corporate plan has been decided, approved by the board and, the, you know, the, we go ahead with the uh, you know, the uh, one objective is to diversify the asset portfolio and the, it may be uh, bringing the cost, you know, the liability side will bring our cost down and uh, basically we are trying to stabilize, further stabilize the company while, you know, still already uh, the company is making uh, profits and uh, the, uh, we don't have any problems at all, but you know, we want to stabilize, you know, when something's happened in the market, you know, the financial sector, some problems, you know, we'll have to face. Uh, so that, that is the objective now and the, to make the company more stabilized during the next years. So stabilization is the, is yeah. the watchword there, really, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, it's been most interesting talking to you today and yeah. thank you so much for coming to London and talking to us about your services. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much.